exciting. Um, we're going to officially open the cafe today. Um, that is really exciting. It's been a long process and a lot of hard work for a lot of people and I'm just so thankful for the lot. And what is striking in here is the re restoration we've done to this building. It's taken us seven years and I think that in itself is a blessing because if we were to get funding at the beginning then we would have done this in six months but it meant that the 200 people, volunteers, community payback service and the National Top End wouldn't have had the chance to come through here. As you know it's getting called the Cafe Wall. Uh, it's after a dear friend of ours who passed away a couple of years ago. We tend to turn this into a training centre, not just a nice wee place to come and sit and get a cup of tea. We're hoping to train boys for prisons, for young, young offenders to come in here and learn about catering, learn about serving and all different aspects of this factory. Uh, we'll have painting and restoration work. Haven't we planned seven years ago, eight years ago, this new company fruition? Uh, well, we first came to the factory, this factory being absolutely destroyed and uh, slowly but surely we start, doing, uh, start restoring the building and build my skills, build my uh, CV and uh, the Open Gates, they helped me a lot. I've been involved with Open Gates for about three or three and a half years now and I'm involved in, with Open Gates because I can see it makes such a difference to so many people's lives. We see people coming in here perhaps from community payback orders, sometimes men who come to the end of life sentences, and you can see them actually grow their self-esteem, self their self-confidence, their attitude to life and life choices, the longer they are in Open Gates. It's, it's been a long journey for Open Gates to get to this stage, and, and now today's here, it's such a lovely tribute to a friendship between Pat and Walter. Right when Pat started out with Open Gates. A little while ago, um, my daughter was visiting from Birmingham and we were able to bring her up to see the cafe named in honour of her dad and the work he'd helped with in Open Gates. And the fact that Open Gates is still going and still looking forward. And that's a wonderful thing to see.